So I was just sent this article by one of my subscribers, and shout out to Kwaku Donkor for sending it to me, where yet again we will be talking about this bitch known as Maya Ponsetto, and no, it has nothing to do with her being arrested, unfortunately. But now she has her lawyer, well, her lawyer has come out and has given their interpretation or reasoning as to why she did this attack on this boy. Or at least that's the reasoning that Maya probably gave to the lawyer that the lawyer is relaying to the people, which is absolutely ridiculous. So the reasoning why, according to the lawyer, Maya Ponsetto attacked this boy is because she was having an, I quote, a panic attack. Excuse me? I didn't know that a symptom of a panic attack caused you to lunge yourself at someone claiming that they stole something of yours, then try to tackle them. Well, actually, not try to, but did tackle them over what you thought was stolen from you that really wasn't even stolen. That, to me, does not qualify as a panic attack. But I guess in her world, in her bubble, that's what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article and see what other ridiculous bullshit they come up with. Maya Ponsetto falsely accusing a black teen of stealing her iPhone and attacking him had nothing to do with racism, at least according to her lawyer, who says she was having a panic attack. Attorney Sharon H. Gatton is representing Maya and her mother, Nicole Ponsetto, and Gatton tells TMZ the New York City incident that led to Maya getting labeled Soho Karen is not what everyone is making it out to be. So I'm guessing all of her DUI charges that she's had over the years is also a panic attack symptom as well, right? Her lawyer says she was in New York City visiting her father for Christmas, and like everyone else, her whole life is on her phone, and she needed to navigate needed it to navigate the city. Well, not everyone else's life is on their phone. Maybe hers, but not everyone's life is in their phone. Believe it or not. He says she started feeling anxious when she realized she'd lost it. Gatton claims... Maya has a history of anxiety attacks, <laughs> oh my god, and was experiencing one when she accused Keon Harrell's 14-year-old son of stealing her phone and went after him. Gatton isn't excusing her aggression. She says that wasn't right, but insists it was anxiety-induced, not racially charged. Well, that sounds like you're giving her an excuse to me, because that was not no goddamn anxiety attack. And we're going to look up the definition of an anxiety of a panic attack after um, I read this article. All of that is, no doubt, info NYPD will want to hear. Detectives investigating the iPhone incident are flying to L.A. this week to speak with Maya, but that could become an issue because Maya's off the grid. Now, look at that. They said they, the tech, they said that they're flying to L.A. to speak with her, not arrest her, but to speak with her. And they said it might be an issue because she's off the grid. How the fuck did she get off the grid? I'm telling you, is when that reporter confronted her. They are literally letting this little bitch just walk and skate and run, hop, skip, teleport out of here. Like I said, if it wasn't for Wuvit, she would have fled the country. She would have fled the establishment. I'm telling you right now, she would have hopped on a plane and got up out of here. This this pandemic is the only thing that's holding her back. Off the grid? Yeah, they hiding her. They're trying their best to hide and conceal her. She may claim to be quote-unquote Latino, but she literally has the Karen act all the way down to a T. Give her an Oscar right now. Gatton says Maya left home and turned off her phone. She's not responding to messages from her mother or her attorney who says they're concerned about her well-being. Well, if they find her stranded somewhere, you know, and I'm not going to finish that statement. They say strangers have shown up at their L.A. area home, followed them and made threats. And we're supposed to feel bad about that because I don't. Assuming everything is all right, Gatton says Maya and Nicole are open to speaking with the Harold family to gain closure. As for NYPD, Gatton tells us detectives will need to talk to her first before getting to Maya. As, as we first reported, Maya and her mother have other legal troubles. They were both arrested in February 2020 for allegedly being drunk in public at the Peninsula Hotel in Beverly Hills. Plus, Maya staring down a strong possibility of jail time after two DUI busts last year. They are giving this heifer so much 
cover and protection it's not even funny like i said she did all of this was able to leave the place where it happened she flew back to california she's walking around like it's nothing she gets confronted by a reporter she claims that she's 22 and that she's puerto rican and there's no way that it could have been racially charged because of those two things she gets her lawyer to say that she had a goddamn panic attack which by the way i'm about to go ahead and look up what a panic attack is let's see a uh, panic attack let me uh, type this into Google right quick so we can find what the definition of a panic attack is. Sudden episode of intense fear or anxiety and physical symptoms based on a perceived threat rather than imminent danger. They're going to use that as they, they're, they're going to play on that. They are going to play heavily on that. That wasn't no goddamn panic attack. It wasn't. I refuse to believe that was a panic attack. Or an anxiety attack. What what did they call? I think they call it an anxiety attack. Let me uh, hey, let me look at what an anxiety. I'm not sure if a, a, an anxiety attack or a panic attack are the same thing, but we're gonna uh, figure this out. Okay, it looks like it is the uh, the same thing. It's labeled under the same exact thing. But yeah, off the grid. That's the part they got me. She's off the grid. They said she turned off her phone. Now her phone's off. The phone she claimed was stolen that's really actually now her you know actually hers that was found in the uber she has earned that title of karen because that's exactly how she's acting and that's the exact cover that she's receiving is that of a whole ass bitch as entitled egotistical shallow karen she has all the symptoms. I don't know if she has the symptoms for an anxiety attack, but she has all the symptoms of a Karen. That's for damn sure. But yeah, they're giving, they're protecting her. That lawyer of hers is protecting her. And they said that she hasn't talked to her mother or her, but you have all these words from that's coming from her. I think the lawyer is lying. I think the lawyer is protecting her. The lawyer, I believe, knows exactly where she is. But they're allowing her to maneuver in a way like she didn't commit any crimes. Mind you, she already has more charges to her from stuff that happened last year, her and her mother. And she's still floating around while that's going on. So this woman, this this little girl in a grown woman's body has literally been skating through life her entire life, it seems. like she. It sounds to me like she's never, ever, ever faced any kind of consequence ever for any of her actions, which is why she continues to do what she does. In that moment, when she saw that boy with her with what she thought was her phone, when she knew it, she, she didn't think it was her phone. She knew it wasn't her phone. She saw a boy with an iPhone and just knew it was hers. She didn't ask or anything she just ran up and said that's my phone that's my phone give me my phone and then when she got past them she ran and tackled him that's why people like kimberly frazier was asking and wondering what was in her phone that was so important because it's not that serious what did you have in that phone that you didn't want people to see but yeah they they're dragging this out they are dragging this out and they said that they received threats. Now, I do I do believe that she's received threats. I do believe that because many people are like she's on the top like or near the top of people shit list right now. Because she's a problem. She's a problematic person. And there's many other Maya Pancettos out there in the world. But right now she is definitely on the shopping block. Well, she hasn't even made it to the block. Off the grid. Are you kidding me? Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure that you text that number that will be pinned down in the comments below to receive all notifications whenever I upload a new video. And I will talk to you in the next one. Okay, so I had to come on here and add this piece in here. I was wondering, I don't know if I was going to turn this into a separate video or not, but I said, you know what, let me just incorporate it into this video right here. So I was tagged. In this article that just came out, and I'm recording this on January 7, 2021, by FBA News for Foundation of Black Americans. And this story just came out five minutes ago about this heifer, Maya Ponsetto. And it says that she is currently in custody in California, but not for what she did in New York. And she's not even in custody in New York. She's in custody for something completely different. And ironically, 
it has something to do with her being behind the wheel of a car. Remember, this woman has a history of DUIs. And ironically, what she's in custody for right now, and I don't know if she'll still be in custody by the time this video goes up, but the reason why she's in custody right now is because of her, whatever she did right behind the wheel of a car. I haven't read the article yet, but I skimmed through it and that's what came up. So we're going to read this right now and see exactly why she's in custody. A California woman seen on video tackling a black teenager whom she falsely accused of stealing her phone at a Manhattan hotel is in custody in California, the NYPD says. Police said Thursday night, Maya Ponsetto is in California custody, not the hands of the NYPD who sent detectives to California this week. Officers with the Ventura County Sheriff's Department plan to make a traffic stop on the warrant for her arrest out of New York, but she refused to stop and drove slowly through her Peru, California neighborhood. When she came to a stop, she put up a fight and resisted arrest. ABC News reports she had to be physically restrained and arrested. Ponsetto is being held on no bail and will have an extradition hearing. Once she is done with New York, she could also face charges in California after the pursuit and resisting arrest. Ponsetto was confirmed as the woman in a December 26 video by her attorney, Sharon Gatton. Gatton said Ponsetto is quote-unquote emotional emotionally unwell and remorseful yeah right remember what i talked about briefly in the first part of this video saying that she's off the grid and all this other type of stuff please she knew exactly what she was doing but look at what she got arrested for just recently now they got her in jail right now they say in custody because of them sending the detectives out there but they she wasn't arrested by those detectives she was arrested by other detectives in that area and they were trying to stop her she kept driving and when they pulled her over she they said she put up a fight and she resisted arrest i'm telling you the woman's a menace she's a straight up menace and she's never had to be held accountable for anything she's ever done that's why she felt like she wasn't wrong in anything that she did you can tell she's never probably been in a fight any day in her life because i'm telling you one good ass whooping will probably humble her because I know ass whoopings would humble anybody, or at least it should. And she's literally skated through her, like I said before, through her entire life unscathed. And it shows. She is very entitled. She has a huge ego. And she's very privileged. You can tell. Because look at her, look at how she's, how her life is. She's 22 years old and she has all these charges to her name. And all of them stem in some type of fashion that could have been avoided. And they stem in her being knee deep in her own privilege and not being accountable for any actions that she's done. She's never had to be. And not only is she not holding herself accountable, but apparently no one else is. So she's just like able to get away with anything. Like if given the chance, she might be able to get away with murder. I shouldn't put that out there, but hey, it is what it is. But y'all let me know what y'all think.